proudly sponsored by Music Go Round. Hey guys, it's James with Rock Unite. I'm here with the band Beard. Guys, how you doing? Good. Good. How you doing, James? How you doing, man? Doing good. So I know you guys got a new CD coming out. Can you tell us about that? Well, it's actually a cassette. Uh, <laughs> cassette only. Cassette only release. Cassette only release. Via a nine, nine song tape. Nine songs. We went in the studio and did it, what, a couple of months ago? Yeah, yeah in a June. Yeah, we were shooting for an EP, but it ended up being a... A full record. A full yeah. record, yeah. Yeah, went in and everything started flowing. And Where'd you guys record? Uh, down the road. Skywitch road. Studios. Skywitch? No, that's that's way. <laughs> yeah, down right off of uh, Central. Really down the road. Well, did you guys uh, self-produce or did you guys bring a producer in or how'd that come about? Uh, we had Ryan Martino uh, produce the album. He also recorded. He'd done some cool stuff with October People and some other bands. When we were. Yeah, a really nice studio. Nice. Really nice place. Did you guys manage to... Um, do it all at once, or did you, was it over multiple sessions? Pretty it's much all three, at once. Three sessions, three days? The whole recording was one session, and a couple of other days to just go back and touch up vocals. We recorded live, pretty much all in the nice. same room. Uh, we didn't isolate anybody. You know. Except me. You guys I'm isolate a, me. <laughs> I'm a big proponent of live recording. Isolate the right. bass player. So that's, you know, back in the day when we were, li we were listening to good old rock and roll bands, a lot of times that vibe was captured in the studio. They recorded them live and it, it carried over because a lot of bands are live bands. And when you over-process or over-studio something, you kind of lose that. And when they go to play it live, it's kind of uncomfortable. So I've seen you guys perform and you definitely are a live band. And I, I hope that it's captured and I think it will be on that, that record. I think it, it was. So we, were, it was yeah. cool. we were happy with it. Yeah. It, it, it felt well good. It was a good vibe. And awesome. I think it's going to come out in the album. So I, I know I've had a lot of people ask me, and I'm going to hit you guys up on this. Where did the whole name Beard come from? <laughs> I didn't have a choice in the matter. I got a call. Do you want to join Beard? It came from right here, see? <laughs> nah, not really. There you uh, go. It, was a, it was a combination of a 70s band called Bread. And we kind of jumped with the letters, and we used their logo also. <laughs> uh, we stole their logo, and uh, we were just jamming some Red Fang one awesome, day. Yeah. And we were like, dude, we need to just put a band together. I don't, I don't know. The, I mean, the, the irony of contrasting sludge yeah. rock with a uh, folky with bread. bread 70s. But honestly, the band started as a joke. It was, really, yeah. it was. It was just we were having fun. We had a web page and everything before yeah. we even had a fan. Yeah. Right, I saw that. Beard, beard is shit. shit. Yeah. Beard, yeah. Yeah. Bullshit. Beard is bullshit. Yes. Beard is bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. It was just a, a beard is bullshit page, and uh, yeah. we were on a world tour. We did. <laughs> we, we had all kinds of things going on, but no band. Right. The, the whole thing no was band. just bullshit, you know. Nice. And then. Uh, we wanted to start a reputation before we ever played a show. <laughs> <laughs> the band, and then right. when it gets big enough, you're like, oh, hell, we better put together a band. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then we're like, yeah, I guess we should put a band together and actually put something behind it. We were having so much fun with it. I was like, well, mm -hmm. let's, let's write some music, and we got together. And it, the songs just kind of came together yeah. real easy. The songs came together Very and started flowing, well. and we're like, yeah. let's go play. And it really took off, so it's been awesome. a lot of fun. It's been I a good know, year. I know one of the things in your live show that, you guys switch, you come front, you take the drums over, and people were commenting on how cool that was. And and uh, how did that come about? You just, another fun thing, or? Yeah, yeah, we just wanted to change it up a little bit, you know? I wanted to play you just, drums. You just gotta yeah, set yourself apart, and there's great bands that you see, but you wanna, just wanted to make memorable live performances where you go away going, even if, even if it wasn't uh, your flavor and you, you didn't like it, you still remember us. So. And Kirk is actually yeah. a really yeah. good guitar player. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I think all made kind of secondary yeah. for him, I think, right? Basically, I got a call one day saying, uh, can you play drums? Because we're putting this thing together and uh, we need a drummer. I was like, oh, yeah, well, I'll give it a shot. Sure, I'll do it. <laughs> I had, uh, I had a nut, somebody else make a comment on your, your guitar that you play. They wondered if you beat it up that bad or if you got it that bad. Actually, uh, got it that bad from a Music Ground, Dave, Dave's an owner of Music Ground, and Maurice is a manager there too, and I worked there for a good while, 
and it came in and just the more fucked up it looks, the more I like it personally. Yeah. Yeah, it's some, a character. Somebody was asking me, they said, I wonder if that was brand new. And I said, it's been through the mill, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the way she plays, you would. That's a, that's a really good question. I mean, did she beat the hell out of that That's, that's why yeah. it was brought up. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Said, oh, we can't buy sense. nice equipment in this band because no. no. something's going to happen to it. Yeah, we destroy everything, so. <laughs> It's not a good thing. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, that's one of the things I noticed was you're, you do have an explosive performance and you do give a show. Thank you. Which, Thanks. you know, a lot of bands have over the years gotten away from just staring at their shoes and just playing. And, you know, the whole spirit of rock and roll was to go and have a good time, to go yeah. forget about your worries, to go and just hang out with some good buddies, you know, have a couple of beers and see a good rock and roll band. And I think that's where you guys fit in. Cool. So, I think yeah, you. We Thanks, think so too. So do me a favor, go through, tell people who don't know who you are and what you do in the band. We've been talking. You want me to go first? Start, start first. Start. Oh, I'm D Beard. I play bass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm K Beard, lead drums. I'm K Beard, and I play a little guitar and do a little vocals. Uh, M Beard, I do uh, vocals and uh, play guitar. Awesome. And drums. And drums. And, and, drums. Yeah, and I also players. destroy stuff, too. <laughs> He's the number one destructive force on stage. We're scared. Believe it or not, it is me. We're scared of that. Nice. So this is James with Rock Unite. We've been with the band Beard. Make sure you check them out. Make sure you pick up their CD. CD's entitled Black, Black Unicorn. Unicorn. Black Unicorn. Produced by, put out by you guys. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Where can we get it? It's going to be uh, October 26th is our record release, um, so it'll be available then, and I'm sure, you know, we'll put it out to all the iTunes, Amazon, all, all that good stuff, unicorn. you know. Well, i got to say, though, make sure that you buy it, if you get the opportunity, buy it directly from the band, because the money goes right to the band, buy the merch from the band, support your bands. These guys, that's how they make their money these days. Make sure you support your local artist, like Beard. I'm out.